Okay, so on to the next track in Sammy's Rockstar Roundup. Almost forgot that. Almost forgot, but I did not. Uh, this one over here is uh, Door Tree Artificial. Never heard this one before. We did, we've only reacted to one Door Tree track ever, and that was also requested by Sammy. So this one's called uh, Artificial. Uh, looks like we've got a little science lab going over here. Let's see what we've got for those of you who are interested in this custom series uh, story. Um, link is down in the pinned comment. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we've got. Just another lethal injection to mankind. So I kind of feel like he's talking about artificial intelligence over here and the dangers of artificial intelligence, right? There's no blood pumping in the veins, which it circuits for the brains. What does that? What does that say? What does that say to to, to anybody? No blood pumping in the veins, just circuits in the brain, right? So that's obviously going to be super clinical and completely and un utterly unable to um, understand ethics or to understand empathy, right? So um, empathy or sympathy or something like that, super clinical, programmed to do something, and that's how it operates, right? There's no blood, there's no heart pumping, there's no anything. Um, you know, the crazy thing is, um, uh, this is something Elon Musk actually said, um, we, autonomous, car, autonomous cars have been ready for a long time. We could have put autonomous cars in the car in the, on the streets a long time ago. The reason why we don't yet have autonomous cars on the on the roads is because we can't get around the, the the one element, and that element is ethics, right? We don't fully understand ethics ourselves. Now, how do we expect to teach a machine to understand ethics? You know what I mean? And to make judgments based on certain things, we struggle with certain judgments. Lady in a pram with a baby walking across this, walking across a zebra crossing or walking across a, um, the road right and then there's two children on the pavement the only um let's talk about a a, 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 a car that's running with artificial intelligence or a, an, an autonomous car has now got to make an, a, a judgment right lady with a baby walks across the road the only have one option swerve and kill two kids or don't swerve uh, swerve and kill two kids in order to avoid that or don't swerve with two options. Two options is swerve, kill two kids on the pavement, or don't swerve and go straight and kill a lady with a baby. That's an ethical question. That's a judgment question that machines can't do because we struggle with, we, we, we grapple with ethics ourselves, right? So to allow something like this to just run rampant, and if we don't rein it in, right, these things are literally going to operate in clinical fashion, right? If it feels that humanity is, is just a burden on uh, you know then the mission is to take out humanity and not because it feels uh, um, that certain way not because it has any sort of uh, prejudice or anything it's just because it's 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 uh, uh, um, um, statistically and uh, the statistics are in its favor in terms of like well yeah well it's, it's just a numbers game for these machines right that's how they'll see the world Welcome to your worst nightmare Days are getting dark, you should be scared It doesn't have a heart Look into the new you Don't resist cause it's no use It's no use It's digital warfare The death of who we are is right here It's never gonna stop Look into your new soul Eyes cold, mechanical Artificial Ooh, shit, wait a second, where's that? That sound sample, uh, wasn't that from like a, did, did MGK sample this from this track? 
or was it the other way around? That I think that was on an MGK track called Pressure. Uh, he used three beats there, but the very last beat sounds exactly like this. This part of here. Oh, it says it right there, AI. Okay, so it's a song about AI. We guessed as much. I mean, it wasn't very hard to decipher. Oh, no, Something's wrong and out of place. A soulless masquerade. A disgrace. No sickness, no dying, no disease. No begging for mercy on your knees. No God, no religion. No beliefs. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Days are getting dark. I don't know, I'm going to ask you a question. You can answer this down below. What is scary? Artificial intelligence? Or the fact that we are now building a society that operates in an artificial manner, right? With zero authenticity and everything's virtue signaling and everything is sheep format thinking and never, ha there's like, like it's, it's always second order thinking and th not, there's not even a second order thinking. Like they don't have any second order thinking. No I mean? And it's all fake and, artif and they, fake and artificial, you know, you, these are not genuine people. So what's, what's worse? I don't know. I'd still say AI is probably worse, right? Because, you know, you can still control stupid people. Um, but controlling highly intelligent machines, that's virtually impossible. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Days are getting dark, you should be scared. It doesn't And there are people out there that are actually very happy to plug into a new soul. Absolutely, I'm happy to plug in. People speak of it like that. I mean, I've heard Mr. Beast saying he'll absolutely put a neural link in his brain. It's like because you'll have access to God knows how much information, right? You'll instantaneously be able to achieve anything you want because you'll have access to absolutely everything that you can literally. Uh, draw from and then implement to a certain degree right but is that all we're living for is that it you know what i mean uh, is that what we have to do we have to lose our souls just to gain the world right i was, uh, recently learned that's a biblical quote i obviously know of the quote but it's a, a biblical quote that i never knew um but yeah is that is that is that what our existence is here for to plug into the things we made so that we can make more I don't know. I don't know if that's really the existence I want, to be honest. Literally just said that. Once so again, brings me back to my question: What is worse, AI that has no beliefs, or a society that's artificial that has no beliefs either? That believe that you know, well, they, they were going to have some level of belief, but no real belief in like religion or faith or anything. It's just operating out in the abyss, um, only servicing themselves. I mean, what's worse? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's sort of what, what more can you tolerate, right? But I don't think we'll be able to tolerate either in, in, uh, from what I think. And it's actually, it's the perfect, it's the perfect uh, um, situation um, for um, um, the argument for robotics and AI. It's like, hey, everyone's stupid and wants to sit at home and watch Netflix. Nobody wants, we want them dumb, stupid, docile, and fat. And they can sit at home and watch Netflix and don't worry, the robots will do everything. All right, so I guess one plays into the next, I guess. I don't think you would be 
able to resist even if you wanted to with the way the world moves and the way these uh, systems uh, move, right? Uh, the fact that everybody is just willing to take on these things is is that's what's so criminal. Because at the end of the day, what people don't actually realize is they're actually sweet, they're, they're moving you into all of this so that if you don't comply, they can switch all it off, all of it off. You know what I mean? They can have complete and utter control, right? It's a globalist ideology, a globalist agenda. We don't want you to have uh, hard cash. We don't want you to have currency. We want everything to be digital, absolutely everything. Because if at some point you do not toe the line, we can just switch you off. We can switch you off from everything, right? We can literally stop you from everything. You won't have access to your social media accounts. You won't have access to, to any sort of news. You won't, access, won't have access to your work. You won't have access to your money. You won't have access... So, as long as you, it's very dystopian, but we are moving into a dystopian world, make no mistake, right? I always find it like unbelievably funny when the totalitarians in the West um, are so uh, are so concerned about the rise in authoritarianism. <laughs> it's always funny to hear that shit. Um, but yeah, that that is that is uh, what is proving to be the thing. And some people might think it's conspiratorial, but I don't know. I don't know. Take a look at the world. Doesn't it look like conspiracies are just spoiler alerts? You know what I mean? Oh, that's a conspiracy. Six months down the line. Fuck. Okay, that was actually right. That was true. That actually is happening. Before, yes, conspiracies were conspiracies. Now, everything that they're saying is conspiracies just happens to be spoiler alerts. It's just crazy that we're living in a world like that. Fire! Love that. The instrumentation on that was absolutely fire. The concept on that was different. It was unique. I haven't heard uh, I haven't heard any track actually from any uh, band that has spoken about um, artificial intelligence uh, and the dangers of artificial intelligence. So nice little um, sort of uh, um, more more current and more real topic because it really is it really is like if you had to listen to that back in the day you'd be like nah you know but that's this is really a problem today so absolutely love that like i said we're still we're still going up now we're still on the roller coaster still going up we haven't hit the bend we're not going down just yet that was fire uh, i'll catch you in the next one peace